Hello, in this video we will have a look at time series data and how we can work with um, time indices in Pandas. Alright, first off we want to have a look at the timestamps that Pandas provides and for that we can use the toDateTime function and to that we can just pass a string with a date um, in pretty much any arbitrary uh, format and um, the first example here we uh, yeah, just use a year dash month dash day and this will give us a timestamp um, yeah which adds the um, yeah, the time zero so yeah as you can see this supports many different um, ways of yeah, providing the time and the date but note that if you use this um, dot syntax that uh, this uses American standard and the first part is the month the, th the second part is the um, the day and the last part is of course the year. If you are, um, yeah, if you want to use the European or not not only European but everywhere apart from the USA um, standard way of doing that, you can spe uh, you can add the parameter day first to and set it to true, and then um, yeah, this first thing will be the day and the second part will be the month. But with this dash um, representation, it will always be year, month, day. So this is an ordered um, sequence. So you have uh, like from the largest to the smallest, year, month, day, hour, minute, and then second. So this will always be ordered. And that also means, um, for example, that if you look at this string, um, you can do lexicographic um, ordering of this, and this will actually be a daytime ordering. So this is quite useful. Okay, but yeah, you can of course also specify the time um, in this two-day time function. And uh, yeah, if you now have such a timestamp object, it will offer you all the information that you need about this timestamp with the respective attributes. So here, yeah, you can just have a look. There are lots of different attributes where you can get the respective uh, parts of this timestamp. And additionally, we can also compare two timestamps. And here, for example, we have the same day, but we want to compare um, these two time stamps. Um, and the difference is that one is um, 2.45 and the one is 2.46. So, yeah, date one is smaller than two, uh, day two is true, since, um, yeah, 2.45 is earlier than 2.46. Okay, now we can also pass a panda series to this two date time function. What this uh, does is, it gives us such a series with datetime objects and you can see the uh, data type is also datetime and um, yeah you can also see that this added an NAT value here where we specified none in our series and this is just the um, yeah the time series equivalent of NAN so in this case this is not a time um, this just represents a missing value okay then we can also just pass a list of these uh, datetime strings to, to datetime. This will create a datetime index, and we'll use that later on to um, yeah, create indices for our data frames. And um, yeah, one way to really conveniently print these timestamps is using string format time. Um, this function can be called on uh, these timestamp objects, and you can use these uh, percent um, and then a letter codings um, to yeah, represent, uh, to tell pandas which part of the daytime object should be inserted there. So for example, A here is the, uh, the weekday and B um, is the month. And you can have a look at this link, it will tell you um, all the different codes that you can use here. And if we execute this, it will automat automatically replace these percent uh, some letter things um, by the respective values. So this uh, string will be turned into today is a Tuesday in June. Okay, um, you can also just specify this format directly when calling to date time. And um, yeah, this will lead to um, this being printed in this way um, as you specified. Okay, now looking at the actual date time index that I mentioned before, uh, we can create such a, such a date time index by also calling this date time index constructor and just passing a list of um, dates, so like dates as strings. Um, and then we can create a series with just normal values and um, yeah, specifying this daytime index as the series index. 
So if we have a look at the schedule then, um, this will tell us that the index here is a date time index with the respective dates. And then you have uh, as the values inside the series, uh, these respective strings. We can also index this series um, using the normal um, slicing and indexing that we know from NumPy and Pandas. And here we can also use strings for our dates. And um, yeah, this will then convert these strings to timestamps internally and uh, use the comparison defined for those timestamps. Okay, yeah, and as I mentioned uh, earlier, um, there is this NAT object, which is not a time, um, which is equivalent to the NAN. And um, this will be created from anything that can't be parsed as a time as a timestamp. And uh, yeah, we can check for these values with the uh, is null function. So is null will return us true for um, the part uh, where we have an NAT object.